Hello and welcome to episode number 42 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is, are you missing out on the opportunities right in front of your very eyes? Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now... I came up with this particular topic only because I'm seeing the great man himself, Jay Abraham, who's been a long, long mentor of mine. I've been watching him from afar and I'm really excited to spend the day with him tomorrow. But Jay is an expert in looking at hidden, missed opportunities right in front of our very eyes. And I think I spoke about this on a particular podcast episode previously, but I really wanted to go over it again because there are so many opportunities right in front of your eyes at this moment in time, right in front of my eyes that we're not taking full control and we're not making the most out of at this moment in time. And we're focusing a lot of our energy, a lot of our advertising money on the wrong things. And, you know, as a fitness business entrepreneur, as somebody who wants to thrive in business, we need to play the smart game and we need to work hard. Those are the two things, right? So I see a lot of personal trainers, including myself, working so hard, but at some point in time and every single week on Sunday, I will sit back and I will reflect on the amount of work I did, what my next week will look like so that I'm consistently planning and looking back to see how effective I was. And look, it didn't just happen overnight. For a long period of time, I was just hustling and grinding and doing things because, you know, when you're doing things, you get so comfortable, you fall into a pattern that you just want to keep going, okay? And then you feel unproductive when you stop. But what you need to understand is you are most productive when you stop You reassess exactly what you've done, okay? You have a look at exactly what you've done. You have a look at where you've failed and what what new plans and strategies you can come up with. So in regards to me spending a day with Jay Abraham today, or tomorrow, sorry, I really wanted to put this out to you to kind of get you starting to think about the hidden opportunities right in front of your very eyes at this moment. And I can tell you there are a ton, okay? When I look at fitness professionals in the online space and the offline. If you're a hybrid trainer, if you've got some sort of online program, but you do, you know, one-to-one training offline, or if you're running those 12 to 16 week group classes that I mentioned not too long ago, you're a hybrid personal trainer, okay, because you're leveraging time. There's a lot of missed opportunities. And the first thing is, you know, what I truly believe in is something called setting up your own apparel line. Okay, setting up your own apparel line because that's where you get all your clients to purchase your t-shirts, your products, your fitness straps, whatever it might be. And there's this thing called drop shipping where if you look at drop shipping, what happens with the amazing technology and with the internet nowadays is that all you need to do is you need to just set up a shop on Shopify, which is really, really easy to do. Okay, put your photos up there and find a supplier who will send out all the packages, the t-shirts, they will do all the printing and they'll, they'll fulfill for you. So essentially all you're doing is just setting up a shop a shop front. So look into drop shipping to set up your own apparel line and I would say that you should be selling these t-shirts and apparels at cost price. Okay? Why? Because this is free marketing for you. Okay, you don't want to be making any money off your t-shirts because let's be honest, if you have a t-shirt and it's got your logo, you've got your company or you've got your tribe name on it, you know, not many people are going to buy it because they think it's a cool t-shirt. So you want to use this as a branding asset. You want to get people, you know, tons of people going and seeing your information, your logos around. And that's the first step. That's a big, big way that you can start marketing yourself. Now that's so simple, okay, especially if you look into drop shipping, it's spelt as how you think it's spelt. It's drop and then shipping, okay? So that you will have manufacturers. If you look into drop shipping manufacturers, you can do a bit of research. There's AliExpress. There's a ton of other really good manufacturers that will be able to deliver on your behalf. They'll be able to print your t-shirts. They'll be able to send it out for you and they'll be able to send it out generically. So it doesn't have their branding on it. It has all of your branding. Okay, that's the first thing. That's building a, a tribe of raving fans right there. The second thing I'd be looking at around is that every each and one of your clients and customers at this moment in time are consuming supplements. If they're into training, you know, you might have 30 to 40% of people consuming supplements. So have you joined up with an affiliate partner? Have you signed on into having a look at, you know, bodybuilding.com or, or thereabouts? Because every supplement company, okay, every supplement retailer has an affiliate kickback where you might be able to earn 10 to 15% and save your clients and customers 5%. Okay, so it's a win-win situation on everyone's end. Not only would they have purchased supplements anyway, 
But, you know, now, now they're getting 5% off and you get a 15% off kickback. So you need to be weary of these opportunities right in front of you. Now, another thing is setting up joint venture partners. You know, this is a great one because everyone in the online fitness space, everybody, and I for a long period of time thought this myself, was that I need to know everything if I'm going to teach. Okay, if I'm going to show somebody something how to do, I need to know everything. And you know what? The people who make the most money in the world, they're not teachers. They're not educators. They generally congregate people together. They create transactions without ever, you know, exchanging money. There's never an exchange of money. There's never really them teaching. Okay. And this, these people own the most amount and make the most amount. And so what I want you to start thinking about today is who can you bring on to start educating your clients and possibly you can bring together so that you can market. And what I mean by this is, you know, can you launch a summit inside your space, an online summit? Can you bring together a nutritionist now and add this component and do a 50-50 split with the expert who's going to come in and run the course for your clients, okay? So there's a lot of joint venture partnerships that you're not aware of currently that's missed and hidden opportunities, okay? So these are a few of the things that I want you to think about today and this is just a really short one only because I have to go plan and I've got a lot of work to do before my meeting with Jay tomorrow but I really want you to sit down and think today, well, what are the missed opportunities that you currently aren't looking at? You know, is it setting up your own apparel brand? That's super easy to do. Is it joint venturing with an affiliate network? Is it joint venturing with another partner who might be able to help, you know, with mindset work? Well, not only mindset, but nutrition, okay? Habits and start thinking about all the other possibilities that are out there. I want you to start thinking a bit more than what you normally do as a personal trainer because if you're listening to this podcast episode, you're wanting more, okay? You're here because you want more out of life. You want more time. You want more freedom. You want more for your finances. And that's what I'm here to help you do, okay? So if you have any ideas, go sit down today and contact a coach. Send this out to another coach, another personal trainer. Let them know that you're interested in doing a collaboration. And that way you guys can get together. You guys can tee up a time and get something going. But right at this very moment in time, there are hidden opportunities right under your very nose. And you know what? It's generally a good idea to get somebody else to come in, okay? Whether it's another colleague, another coach, another trainer, to really take a look at your business and say, well, what else can I do, okay? Because generally when you're in your business, it's very, very hard to see the opportunities. It takes a keen eye and somebody outside of your business. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next podcast episode. All right, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review in that way. I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.